Let me tell you why me say big yard. Uh, you gonna lie down? Yeah. You should. I don't know if they can see you now that you're lying down. Them can't see me. How are you so sure? Them can't. What if they can't see you and they have to look at the whole video with your head kind of in it, but not really, and then it just looks weird. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we wanted to answer a lot of the questions that we've been getting from all of you and you know hopefully it helps everyone else going forward although this person sees me with hot tea in my hand and is throwing all the weight back at me we're gonna try to do this video without burning ourselves mm -hmm. so today we are talking about trip planning and budgeting right trip planning and budgeting Yes, trip planning and budgeting. So the first question that we've been getting a lot is how do we afford all of these flights? And the truth is, this is how I afford all of these flights, you know, right here, this person, because they fortunately have a he fortunately has a career, you know, if you stop talking about him in third person. <laughs> Baby tell the people what you do. I am a entertainer. So I am a radio host, media personality. I am a recording artist, I am a DJ, I am a host. I am a voiceover talent and actor. I do a lot of stuff. A lot of media related stuff and most of all, he is a DJ slash MC slash whatever, you know, you refer to it as, but the point is you can check it out. His admin will be somewhere on the screen. But that is how we, that is a stretch. we afford a lot of these trips because they, you know, when they're booking for things, wherever they're booking for things, then, you know, I am his little road manager who gets to come along. But beyond that, let's talk about booking cheap flights for when that is not the case. And we just want to travel because I'm a little restless, which means that, you know, he has to travel with me sometimes. And please ignore my one nail that has on acrylics right is very close to my upkeep day so getting cheap flights right the number one thing i recommend is google flights and again very distracting person distracting you from what i'm saying and the importance of this video so i'm gonna wait until he sits up so we can continue google flights <laughs> right so if you do not have a specific date in mind, Google Flights is amazing. So you know, there's little, there's a little box right here, and you put where you are at, and in the other little box, you put nothing. And trust me, some psychotic, but believe me, put absolutely nothing. And then you hit search, and Google will show you all of the cheap days, cheap flights to anywhere in the world. And you know, if I, if you're adventurous like me, then you just pick a place, look at the dates that they give you that's really cheap, and when I say really cheap, sometimes you get flights for like $80, $100, you know, all the way up to like three, dollars $400 round trip this way. So, plus you never know where you're gonna end up, so it's amazing, right? And yeah, if you're not really picky about where you're going, you're just looking at the cost, this is a great way to go. But then if you have a specific date in mind, people, Expedia, right? I know Expedia has been around for a while, but Expedia. Sign up for an Expedia account, become an Expedia member, put in your dates, right? And Expedia! Yes, I am not sponsored by Expedia, but I should be because I wouldn't have leaving them out. So Expedia, you know, you could get your flights, get your hotels, you could bundle, it will get you even cheaper. And Expedia customer care, top notch. Their customer care is a big part of why, like, Prices aside, big part of why I say Expedia, right? Moving on. Accommodations. I was just talking about Expedia, right? I always recommend that you bundle your flight and your hotel with Expedia. 
and you know the great thing is you can use that little filter button and filter it out by price and that shit trust me a 100 percent worth it right moving on from expedia the other place that i absolutely love getting accommodations especially budget-friendly accommodations is bookings.com bookings not only offers you like hotels but they it's kind of like airbnb and you know expedia together so they also offer you private accommodations and you can filter it out by you know locations distance to wherever you wanna whatever attraction you wanna see you know you could filter by price and believe me there is always something great available on bookings.com their customer care is also very top-notch so i always recommend booking.com and outside of these two if i want a very unique stay you know for example the stay that we are in right now yeah then airbnb but airbnb has had a host of problems they're not my go-to for that reason and they're not always the cheapest they're definitely not the cheapest not the safest a lot of rules a lot of fees right and if you're gonna charge me a service fee a booking fee a cleaning fee plus the price i still gotta sit out the garbage clean the entire place you got cameras up and down that place for that much money it's not worth the it's not worth the price i prefer to go to a hotel where i at least have daily room services right so unless you're looking for like let's say a tiny home or an absolutely unique place then i just stay away from airbnb it's just kind of not worth it if you're in a pinch and you desperately need somewhere because you make your reservations and when you get there you know there are problems so yeah. you know you always have to anticipate that that when traveling you know um so let's say god forbid you make your reservation and when you get there they must say you're them nasty to the system whatever 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 you know so now here you are, you know, with all your luggage and everything, you've been traveling for how many hours, you're tired, you just want to sleep, you just want to shower. You know, you can hop on Airbnb and, um, you know, just find somewhere close to you and just get somewhere to, um, you know, freshen up and rest up. And, you know, whenever you're traveling and you're running into problems, I always recommend, you know, getting some sleep, getting some food, kind of recharge and then tackle it again you know if it's something that you can put off a few hours or until the next day i definitely um recommend that you know because true truthfully you're going you're going to run into problems you know but sometimes because you're tired or because you're hungry you know you're not you know always come up with the best solution so yes you and know? you know adding to that point is why i had said again expedia you guys need to tell them and tell them to hire me or something but their customer care is a one for this reason because i've gotten to place before like my flight is delayed you know i have a connection at 11 p.m because i like a late flight to give my entire day to do what i need to do and you know all of a sudden my connection is delayed i'm tired like you were saying you know get some rest get some sleep take it on the next day or it's canceled overall you know jet blue not saying you specifically but i'm just saying but the point is right with Expedia you hop on their call and they're like um you know I'm delayed da 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 and they fix you up immediately plus all of their bookings that you booked that you booked coming out to midnight or after midnight is instantly available for you to check in no matter what time the check-in is at the hotel right Airbnb can be a great alternative for this since you know a lot of them allow you the instant book Plus, if you're traveling with a lot of people, then an Airbnb might be the way to go because imagine booking, you know, four hotel rooms when you could book one Airbnb with four bedrooms. So it really depends on your circumstances. But if you're just one person, maybe two people, then it's just not the best choice for you, right? So let's move on from this. And the next point is absolutely perfect because it touched on what we were just talking about, which is insurance so <laughs> insurance right so delays happen and they are absolutely out of your hands like we were in paris and how did we get delayed they had a strike and we just couldn't get to the airport in reasonable time there's absolutely nothing 
we could do about there being a nationwide strike, right? You know, power to the people, fight for your rights. I respect you guys for that. So, you know, insurance, definitely, absolutely critical. So, you could get insurance with the airline where they insure the flight. So, in case there's any delays, any anything, they lose your bag. Then they will compensate you for everything instead of just the airline standard fee, which is like maybe two, three hundred dollars just because you have insurance. You could also get insurance with your booking engine. Whenever I book something on XP, I always add insurance. It's usually pretty cheap. Most of them paid is like thirty, forty dollars per person, and they insure you up to like ten thousand, fifteen thousand dollars. And like I said, their customer service absolutely a one. I was delayed. We were delayed leaving. Germany by delayed I mean miss their flight we put that story somewhere here in this <laughs> on, this, on this screen right and you know Expedia said say absolutely less here is a really nice hotel room and even better I'm gonna upgrade you guys to both your breakfast and everything just for the inconvenience plus here is all of the money that you paid for the flight that you were gonna that you were gonna take and you missed right here's all the money back taxes fees everything included so you know they get another <laughs> yeah they get another another plus from me because on top of that you upgrade my my stay so i could go to sleep eat be refreshed love it right outside of those you could get independent travel insurance and people i cannot stress enough how important it is for you to insure your trip the more expensive your trip is the better it is to insure your trip right always 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 get medical insurance you absolutely never know god forbid something happens to you you do not want to get stuck in someone else's country blowing through your money because you don't have medical insurance for us our go-to is img global or igm global i think it's igm that makes more sense i will put it on the screen here their insurance is really reasonable i think we paid about a hundred and something dollars each for three months of insurance, insurance and they cover you up to fifty thousand US dollars along with evacuations, emergencies, illness, delays, everything like that included. Right? You could also not only do medical but also allow travel with them. And another person that I really really like when it comes to insurance is World Trips, which shows up as Atlas Travel Insurance, right? They insure you for everything, baggage delay, delayed flights, missed flights. If you have to over like you know you have to spend extra because maybe you get covid whatever the case is you know they absolutely cover you people october, still getting COVID? yeah people still <laughs> people are still getting covid right october fifty thousand us dollars and you know i think there's like a million dollar maximum let's say if you need emergency surgery or evacuation or stuff like that again god forbid nothing happens and your trip goes absolutely smooth but just in case mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you're ready and you're prepared because these things cost you money and will completely drop your trip budget which that leaves us in problems because now not only are you broke but you're stuck in someone else's country mm -hmm. where you're broke and if you don't speak the language oh my god you know you stress pain in every single language so <laughs> pain in every single language guys so insurance cannot stress that you know Another way that you save, you can save money on your trip and you know kind of slim down your budget is by using credit cards, right? People, do not overlook the benefits of your credit cards. A lot of credit cards come with automatic insurance once you use the credit card to book the trip, right? They will cover you even if you're, you know, let's say there's a snowstorm and you're stuck somewhere, they say, no problem, here are five days on us because you have this specific credit card and you use that credit card. So look into your credit cards travel benefits and if they're good use your credit card to book your flight if you have a cashback credit card even better use that take them cash back help pay off your credit card bills you know but don't overlook using your credit card and then what is it per diem per diem yes per diem so make sure you have a travel per diem yes right this is how much money you're gonna spend daily and we're not talking about money you're gonna use to buy clothes you know um souvenirs stuff like that that's not the that's not your per that's diem. not your per diem you know um so you can have a budget for those kind of things mm -hmm. you know but your per diem should just be moving around and food 
right? Yes. Moving around. An attraction. And, an attraction. You can have an attraction. Right. But if it's a big attraction, let's say it's an attraction that costs you, um, let's let's use US. Um, let's say it's two hundred or three hundred US dollars. Then you can probably book that attraction in advance. In advance, you know, so right. you don't wait until you get there to. To book that because those are things you also have to look into when you're booking a trip you know what are the attractions and how much do they cost and how much do they cost you know right. um also check how the 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 routes you know how am i going to get to the attraction from where i will be staying mm -hmm. you know um, what time does you know the, the bus starts and that's what time also, cut off, that's also pretty stuff. important when you guys are planning your trips check out the attractions that you want to go to and how far your accommodation is from the attraction, from the attraction yeah. how far how easy how easy accessible transportation is you know to where you're staying because these things really would eat into your budget taking ubers and lifts and everything every single place yeah don't don't, don't it will eat yeah. into your budget and you get to see more you get to interact more with the yeah, locals yeah. look up the culture more when you Take the public transportation system, Google Maps, very accurately, mm -hmm. you know, so please utilize it if you can, if you're comfortable, but... And, and do your research on no. the transport system of wherever you're going. Yes. Because not no two transport systems are the same. They're similar, but not, not the same. same. You know, so find out, even if you can, um, a lot of places offer like, like a travel card. When I say travel card, I mean like a, a bus pass that works for the bus and the metro. And you know, it even gets you in certain attractions. So that's yeah. something you can also check out. You know, probably you can do that when you get to the airport. You know, when you land at the place that you're going, you can do that at the airport. You know, so you want to check out all this. So back to the per diem. Mm -hmm. Your per diem is for your food and your traveling. Right now, if you do have a bus card that takes care of bus, the metro and stuff like that. Yes, but you still have to top it up anyway. So. You know, it definitely makes sense to have your per diem. For us, our per diem is about a hundred dollars. But whatever the currency is, so if we're in America, then it's a hundred American US. dollars. Then, mm -hmm. you know, when we're in Europe, it was a hundred euro. When we're in St. Vincent, it was a hundred BC. We try to keep it at a hundred dollars because we found that a hundred dollars feeds us both for mm -hmm. the day, right? And takes us basically wherever we want to go. And you know, maybe get like little knickknacks where we find because we like the keychains and these type of stuff. So. It definitely does that, but then when it comes to like say shopping, you know, want to go to the mall, want to get shirts, want to get that type of thing, we always allocate extra spending so, uh, money yeah. just for that, right? Because then it's easier to plan for that, and it's easier to put aside money for that plus money for emergencies. So, you know, that's and, about and, and one more thing: you might not use the entire hundred yeah. every day, you know, but it's better to have and not not. want. Right, right, that's um, one and not half. Right, old people knew what they were saying, <laughs> they knew what they were saying. Yeah, right? that's, 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 that's so true. some days you definitely might not use all of it, and other days you might go over it. But you know, we try to stick to our hundred dollars, and we definitely like to eat like the locals and the spots that the local people like because then you know, the, that's food, the real culture, the right? food tends to be a lot better, and then you get to experience a lot more enjoy your trips and we try to avoid tourist traps like there are some places that are just tourist traps where everything is just super expensive it's not authentic it just doesn't find right so that's a big part of why we could stay within this hundred dollar budget right but i definitely say get a per diem if you could afford more then do more if you could only afford less then do less and please remember that our per diem is for two people so if you're by yourself you could definitely do less and if it's more of you like let's say you're a family of four then you know you gotta add like at least thirty dollars to each person that you're including in your trip so you don't run out in the day right right so you know to wrap this up he's being a little grumpy because it's about 1 a.m and that's the one thing about traveling we just gotta do what we have to do in the time that we have because we're trying to do everything right but to sum everything up, these are absolutely good things to you know, think about before you even start thinking about okay, how much all of this is gonna cost me because you know what I would say a good base for any trip that you're gonna take is a thousand dollars, anywhere between seven hundred to a thousand dollars is like a good base and then you keep adding on from there. And after you're done with all of that, then you put aside your spending money and please 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 keep a few hundred dollars. Just for emergencies, it's better to take it back home and nothing happens right so 
gonna make this a little mini series to break down what we've done so far so please look out for that right yeah he just wanna go to sleep but see you next time on the next video bye everyone